In this lecture, you will learn about the style property of a component. We use style property to add some CSS style to the view template of a component. So just like style URLs property, we can also use style property to add some CSS style to our view template. Let's understand this with an example. So in the last lecture, we created this notification component. And for this notification component, we have the selector app notification. And for this selector, the view template is this HTML. We are assigning this HTML to this template property. Now, if we want to add some style to this view template, then we can write that style inside this notification.component.css file because here we are using style URLs and to this we have assigned this CSS file, this notification.component.css file. So Angular will use the CSS style which we will specify inside this notification.component.css file and that will be applied to this view template. Now, instead of using an external CSS file for applying style to our view template, we can also write inline CSS style. And for that, we can make use of style property. So here, instead of using style URLs, let's use style property. And to this style property, again, we assign an array, but inside this array, we don't specify the path of any CSS file. Instead, we write inline style inside this array. Okay, and this should be styles and not style. All right, and inside this array, we can write the inline CSS style. And since we are not using this container component.css anymore, let's go ahead and let's delete this. Now, let's say we want to add some style for this div element. For that, first, let's use the double quotes here inside this. Let's specify the name of the element which we want to uh, which we want to style. So here we want to style this div element. Then we use curly braces, and inside this curly braces, we specify the style as key value pair. So here, let's say we want to set the margin, and we want to set it to top, you know, top bottom 10 pixel and left right 0 pixel. In the same way, we also want to set padding, and again. We want to set padding to top 10, 10 pixel and left, right, 20 pixel. Then let's also add some background color. And let's also set the text align to center. Okay. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you can see the styling has been, has been added to that div element. In the same way, if you also want to add some CSS styling to the paragraph element, then after this closing single quote, add a comma and then you can use another single quote and here you can specify the styling for the paragraph. So here, let's simply set the font size and let's set it to 14 pixel. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So the font size has been set. So in this way, you can add some CSS to your view template using this styles property. And this is how you can set inline style for your view template. Now here we are setting style on the HTML elements, but you can also add a class to your template. So for this div, let's specify a class. Let's call it maybe notification or notification div. And now let's try to apply the style on this class instead of applying it on the div element itself. So for that, you have to use dot then the class name. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and you can see it is still working. Now here, instead of deleting the notification component.css, I deleted the container component.css. So let's delete this notification component.css and let's add back the container component.css. So let's create a new file. And here, let's add the styles, the CSS styles back for this wrapper class. Okay, so here I'm setting the margin and the width. 
let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and now it is working okay so to style your view template you can either use the styles property or you can use style urls property now again using styles property we have some disadvantages for example if you misspell anything here then you won't come to know about it during compile time so let's say if i misspell this margin and if i go to the web page you will notice that margin is not applied here okay so here we don't have any error but that style has not been applied here that's because we have misspelled it and another disadvantage is that we are mixing the TypeScript code with CSS code. And that's again not a good practice. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.